it, at about eight o'clock, uh, it was become very, very, very noisy, and we couldn't figure out what that was. Uh, but the planes were were quite low, and because of the fact that the blinds just shades and the sun was out and all we could see is a shadow and it scared us yeah. and uh, and the sun was quite bright at that that morning and we could see the shadow just a shadow of something sweeping by and it scared us we all jumped up in bed from bed and went running to mom and dad okay. and dad uh, my uncle joe uh realized something was going on and they went out and saw these airplanes and he got in his car and went to home to Wahiwa and he went to his family he knew something was wrong and Uncle Joe left and we all went outside and was looking up and uh, dad thought it was maneuvers at first thought it was what maneuvers the, okay. the, you know the yeah. military maneuvers yeah. Yeah, military maneuvers and at first until he saw the rising sun on the plane. And when he did, the words he used was, uh, this is not maneuvers, my God, this is war. Okay. I, it was just, I can't even begin to describe when you look up and you see these airplanes and the rising sun, yeah. oh my God, the planes with, with this red, round, rising sun on their airplanes. And I, I guess that, very distinctive. Yeah, and I, the hatred for a nine-year-old, it was unreal to, to know what they were doing. They were bullets flying, and in fact, one of the bullets just barely missed my father. Wow. Yeah, and uh, and then we he rushed us back into the house, and we could actually see the pilot in the plane. I mean, wow. that's how low they were. I mean, it was unbelievably low. Oh. It's hard to describe the, the feeling all of us had. Uh, it, even though I was nine years old, I saw it in my parents that there was, that was something really bad wrong. And we were left in this area. All, all the wives and the, and the children were left. And uh, then they told us, we are gathering you up and taking you over to a barracks area. And we're going to keep all of you together. And we stayed there that whole day. And then that evening, they decided that they were going to take us out of there for, because they had a fear of the Japanese coming back, wow. and especially those that were coming back into the land. They did not know if they were coming back into the land. It's hard to describe. I'll never forget this. Uh, the, it just started getting brighter. And what it was, it was the blaze of the ships on fire. And as close as close we got to Pearl Harbor, uh, the blaze was unreal. And uh, fire, the, 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 the water uh, was you could see the water, you could see everything, um, but the, uh, all of the ships, I guess that had sunk, but the, the fire was still there, all just blaze of fire, and it was all lit up. It, we actually, I can actually say, we as children and my parents uh, really know what it's like to be frightened of, of some, another country coming into your country.